Hey there. There's a quote I hear a lot in business and it's about the ability to fail fast. It's kind of understood within the world of business that actually to achieve and become a real success, actually you should go through a failure or a series of failures because to do so often shows that you've gone above and beyond to try to succeed at something. You've gone out of your comfort zone and you're trying really hard and sometimes you'll get it wrong and sometimes that will lead to failure. But so often we hear that the people that do fail, but fail fast, so they dust themselves down and they get up and then they get back on and they devise a new course of action. Those people make themselves a real success. So let's look at that when it comes to eating disorder recovery. I can't tell you the number of times I've said to myself, I can't do this, I'm failing at this, I'm failing at my recovery. Or, well, that was a failure of a day, so what's the point in bothering? Well, I failed at my life so far, so why would I even try and get better for my eating disorder? I've overused the word failure so much, I can't begin to tell you. But the point is, if we start to look at that word failure and say, well, whatever it is, we're kind of packaging up around the word failure. And we say, well, let's turn that into fast failure. Then we learn from it, we dust down, we get back up and we start a new course. So if you wake up tomorrow and even by kind of breakfast time, you're already allowing your behaviours to creep in, or perhaps you're binging in a way that you don't feel comfortable with, or perhaps you're finding distraction techniques and trying to make yourself exercise so that you can restrict more than you did yesterday. If you find yourself doing that and you're thinking, well, I'm failing in recovery, so I'll start again tomorrow. No, fail, fail fast recognize the failure, move quickly and change it. You don't have to wait for a new day or a new week or a new month or a new year's resolution to start over. Failure is fine because failure means we're progressing. And I think so many of us with eating disorders have this kind of perfection trait that, you know, oh, this food is a failure because that meal didn't turn out quite the way I wanted. It didn't seem as perfect. It didn't taste as nice. I didn't present it as well. I didn't have such a perfect environment that I was sitting in to eat it. Well, for a start, none of us are in the environment we want to be in right now in lockdown, are we? And the food we get is the food we get because the food we get is the food we can get from the supermarket during these odd phases when actually it's maybe a little bit more difficult to get to the grocery store. And then when we do, maybe the shelves aren't always as full of the things that we would have liked them to have. So there's lots of ingredients that might mean sometimes, yeah, we're going to feel like we're failing in recovery at the moment but fail fast. Whatever it is that you think is holding you back and making that not so linear journey more difficult at the moment, accept it. Find where you are feeling that something that you have done today, you have thought today, a way that you have behaved today, if that's a failure in your recovery journey, don't dwell on it. Don't decide that that's a reason to give up. Don't decide that that's another reason why you shouldn't move forward and have a life free of your eating disorder. Instead, fail fast, move forward. You deserve recovery and we need to wipe this word failure from our vocabularies once and for all. If that is something that you can relate to, then please share because I want to know that I'm not the only person that talks about failure as much. Okay, have a good day.